don't know, folks. You try to do a dungeon spelunking montage and then a solar eclipse comes along and is like, nah, mate, we're going to go ahead and kill everybody. Oh, what the heck? They've already killed a bunch of my dudes. <laughs> oh, dear. But anyways, guys, hello and welcome back to another episode of Python's Realm. We're on the 25th episode, my friends. Quarter of a century, that is right, my friends. And yeah, we're starting off with the solar eclipse. Hopefully you enjoyed that little montage to start off the episode as well. Because, uh, yeah... It turns out I haven't actually explored all of the dungeon on this world yet, which is actually kind of surprising, to be honest with you guys. So here we go. Let's uh, let's just try our best to try and uh, get this Mothron killed. Oh god, I forgot he's got like get, get out of my face, dude! What the heck? All right, Mothrons are ridiculous on this uh, on this uh, thing. All right, here we go. Here's what we're gonna go and do. Go on, killed son. Go on, kill him, kill him. You can do this. I got faith. I got faith. You guys got faith. I'm trying to get myself a broken hero sword. If I can get a terror blade, that'd be amazing. Wait, did he drop anything? Wait, for real? He didn't drop anything on expert mode. Well, isn't that a bunch of poop? Yes, it is. Oh, look. Check it out. There's a whole bunch of guys down here. Oh, there we go. This is how you do it. Oh! Wow, okay. I just got dashed upon by a little baby moth one. That's embarrassing. How can I get killed by a little baby mob? Dude, what the heck? And they've all stolen my- Hey, come back here with my money, dude! Ow, what the heck, dude? What? I'm trying to- I'm trying to kill all of you, and you're not making it very easy, are you? Oh, right, come on, all of you come back. There you go. Alright, oh, where's the rest of you? Yeah! Steal my money, will you? Steal my money, will you? Go on, get out of here, son. There we go, eight gold. Damn, dude, I'm pretty sure there's more than that to get back, isn't there? Huh. Okay, I'm not entirely sure where it is, but, uh, huh. I think I may have lost a whole bunch of money. That sucks a lot, actually. Alright, so, as you can see, I've managed to make myself a whole bunch of crystal bullets with, uh, with well, crystal shards and, uh, and musket balls. And we're going to be trying to use them against Plantera today, my friends. The whole point of me doing that montage was to go ahead, get myself prepped, get a bewitching table going, get myself some other stuff going, I guess, and to, to basically start the episode doing Plantarian, but obviously that's not going to be the case because, well, we've got this going on. So, I guess an alternate goal would be to try and get myself three broken hero swords. If that can happen, that'd be amazing. If not, then, uh, well, I, I'm not going to be too heartbroken about it because it's not even a proper goal I wanted to go for. Here we go. Let's go and uh, kill a whole bunch of guys with a Daedalus Stormbow. Hey there, buddy. You want to go? Yeah, Mr. Izor, get out of here, son. Ha, <laughs> lols. Alrighty, well, I guess uh, what we'll do is we're going to do this in the form of a, of a montage, I guess. If we manage to get something cool, I will, of course, bring you guys back. Oh, baby, there's our first out of three, my friends. Obviously, we need three if we want to... Oh, God, I've got three health left. Oh, my God, there's a lot of guys right here. Can we take them all down before dying? Tis the question. I am fully expecting someone to just come up behind me and kill me. Oh, there he is! There he is! Oh, maybe not. Ha <laughs> ha! I killed every- Ah, oh, what the hell? <laughs> I killed everybody in time, but, uh, yeah. Everybody else just came along and, uh, yeah. Just pwned me, basically. Oh, honey, back to it! Well, guys, got about 10 seconds left of this uh, here solo eclipse, so whether or not we're going to get something else epic is rather doubtful, I'd say. We've got a bunch of shells, but that's about it. Ah, dang it. All right, well, there's no sign of a death sickle, but the good news is we did manage to get one out of three broken hero swords, which is pretty damn nice. So if we really wanted to, we could make the true knight's edge or the true Excalibur. I would probably go for the true Excalibur simply because that's what I have. So, uh, yeah. And, uh, oh, oh, no. I have Cthulhu. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? He's going down. All right, here you go, buddy. And destroyed. Huh. That was, uh, that was really easy. Yes. Okay, so here we go. We've got a whole bunch of money on the ground, which is amazing. 36 gold, 40 gold, 42 gold. Now up to over a platinum coin. That's pretty damn amazing, actually. <laughs> I'll take that. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get back to preparing to do Plantera again. Yes, and also we need to clear out our inventory because the broken area sword is still on the floor there. So, yes, let's go ahead and do that. Let's get ourselves prepped and I'll meet you guys down in the Plantera arena. Or next to our Plantera bulb, I guess, actually. Oh, check it out, folks. There's bad boys about to be born. The true Excalibur. Uh, it's a regular one. Wait, hang on a minute. I thought this thing was fully auto. Oh, what the heck? 
I honestly thought the true Excalibur was fully automatic in terms of like full auto swing, but apparently not. Huh. Interesting. Alrighty guys, so there's a few bits of good news now. We've got ourselves a bewitching table, and if I go ahead and put the precise summoner emblem on, it gives me 15% increased summon damage. So what I could do with that is I could go ahead and summon myself two loads of twins. Wait, I need to actually activate it, then get the second pair of twins. There we go. And apparently if you just go ahead and swap out the thing with the worm scarf, the damage on these minions still remains. So I've got 10 minutes of increased damage with the minions, and also I have myself a plantera bulb just to the left here. Wait, are you for real? What's the second solar eclipse in a row? Two wow, I haven't seen daytime in ages, dudes. What the hell? <laughs> We've got a second chance of getting a terror blade, dudes. Jeez! What are the chances of having two solar eclipses in two days? That is absolutely bonkers. That is crazy bonkers right there, man. God damn. I cannot quite believe that, to be honest with you guys. That is really quite something. Anyway, so let's go ahead and let's try... Oh, hang on a minute. Where's this guy? Where is he? Where is he? Oh, get off me. Uh, there we go. All right, Plantera. Boom. Let's get it. All right, where's she coming from? Let's buff up. She's coming from the bottom left. Okay, so we've got to take it nice and easy. Nice and easy. All right, buddy. Over you come. Come on. You ain't despawning on me today, mom. It is not happening. Come on, then. Come on. Almost there. Almost there. I can see you on the map there. I can see your little claw coming through. Oh, God. I need to get into the arena and not get trapped under it. That would be embarrassing. All right, boom. Health potion already. Not a very good sign that we're using one already, but we'll see how we do anyways, my friend. So, here we go. We've got ourselves the Chlorophyte Shot Bow this time. We'll see how it does, because you guys were very correctly pointing out that the projectile actually goes through walls, which is kind of awesome. And because I've managed to get this uh, get this arena to be quite tall... Actually, no. Eh. I don't know what I'm saying. Doesn't matter. Boom. Let's just let's just see how we do, my friends. We're already down to half health. We are not looking so hot right now. I can't tell which are my projectiles and which are her projectiles. That's kind of bad, actually. Boom. I need to get back down. All right. Uh, I don't know, man. My health regen isn't quite enough, is it? Hmm. Oh, and I would very much appreciate it if my flight didn't... We're not going to defeat her again. It's not possible. I can't do Plantera in expert mode. It just isn't possible. I can't do it. I'm dead. I'm going to die. I'm going to die momentarily. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do Plantera. It, it is just impossible. I buff. I still maintain what I said in the last episode, my friends. I absolutely detest Plantera in expert mode. She is way too OP in my opinion. Jesus God, dudes. I thought we would have had a really good chance at doing it that time, but apparently not. Great. Alright, well, we've got another solar eclipse, so we've got another chance of getting some epic stuff. If we don't die off spawn, that is, of course. Thank you. Alright, let's try and get some stuff going, shall we? Oh! At long last, some good news! <laughs> we've got a death sickle at long last, my friends. And I'm pretty damn confident that the death sickle will be able to take down Plantera pretty dang easily. Oh, mate, I'm so happy with that. There we go. Heavy death sickle, 62 damage. But I firmly believe that we'll be able to get a lot more damage out of this thing. So here we go. Oh, it's so beautiful, though. Now I'm going to stand right up here and just, like, cheese eyes all out. There we go. Ha! Yeah! Hey, there's a second broken hero sword, my friends. I've just realized I don't think I have a knight's edge just yet. Huh. Okay. Well, we're going to need to go back to the dungeon to try and get some uh, some materials for the Knight's Edge, of course. What the heck? What are you doing there? <laughs> what? <laughs> he spawned on top of my tree. <laughs> oh, dear idea. Ah, uh, Terraria and your balked up mob spawns. How great. <laughs> 48 gold has been lost. Dang it. Yeah. Oh, no. I was so close to defeating that last moth one, dudes. Well, the bad news is I didn't manage to get myself three Broken Hero Swords. I've managed to get myself my second one, which, of course, I uh, showed you a little bit earlier. So, uh, yeah, we need to do at least one more Solar Eclipse to try and get the rest of the stuffs. So, yeah, not done too bad, though. My friends have got 80 gold coins out of that, which is pretty damn decent. And, uh, yeah, everything is looking good. We're now up to three Platinum Coins. And what are you doing? Get out of here, Unicorn. 
You do not belong here, Sonny. Or mom, whatever you may be, I have no idea. Anyways, uh, where is my goblin tinkerer? Oh, he's over at the desert base. Okay, cool. So I might actually be able to, uh, to do stuff. To do stuff, I say. Stuff. Yes, everybody loves doing stuff. Okay, so, heavy death sickle. If I make myself the chlorify, the, uh, the melee helmet, which I don't believe I have. I've got the mage helmet, but I don't have the, uh, I don't have the melee helmet. Although I could use titanium. Would that be a good idea? I have no idea. Will you please? Who is doing that? Get out of it! Blooming gastropod, you freaking jerkbag. Alright, here we go. Now I might actually be able to do stuff. So 23 defense. Uh, so let's just check out defense. So we're going from 50 up to 55. That's pretty damn decent. This now does 84 damage. This does 67 uh, let's just check out our accessory loadout real quick. Uh, this is all looking good, actually. Do I have any, like, warrior emblems? I have no idea. I've, it's been a long time since I've really had a look through my accessories stuff. Let's just have a quick peek in here real quick. Uh, what do we have? We've got Nazar already. Wow, that's kind of awesome. Okay, uh, we don't appear to have anything that really does us justice in terms of melee stuffs. So, hmm. I may have to, I may have to do a little bit of gearing up, my friends. Boom. All right, let's get it done. Ah, check it out, my friends. I've been able to make myself a fire gauntlet. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. That's beautiful, isn't it? It's a beautiful thing to have, my friends. Hey. So that should help our melee load out a whole bunch, hopefully. Uh, I've just realized. Oh, what are the stars doing in there? They can go in here because they are technically a potion ingredient. So there you go. You can go in there. You can also go in there. Uh, what else have we got? The, the Daedalus Stormbow. Uh, hmm. I don't know if that'll be useful against Pantera. I really don't. We'll have to give it a go at the very least. Uh, but if it doesn't work, then we'll just have to put it away. Uh, so, yeah. Not doing too bad, my friends. Not doing too bad. Alrighty. Time to get some reforging done, my friends. Unfortunately, we don't have a discount card, so we're doing everything full price. Uh, pointy, that's kind of nice. Ooh, that's kind of nice as well. Uh, oh, that's even nicer, actually, because, uh, you know, increased speed is always good to have. And if we go and reforge this real quick, uh, guarding, hasty, spiked is okay. Let's go and put that on. So it's a grand total of 12% increased damage. So this thing now does 79. Oh, look at that melee speed, though, man. That's amazing. Brilliant. Okay. This thing does 92 damage now as well. Wow. Okay, so uh, I've also brought along all of my gold furniture, so I can go ahead and sell all of this, get myself a whole bunch of money from doing that. There we go, looking good, looking good. Do I have anything else that I want to reforge potentially? Uh, no, uh, nimble? I might have having something slightly better on this. Oh, yes! <laughs> oh, baby! Look at all the Unreal stuff we have! Unreal Daedalus Stormbow, Unreal Clawify Shotbow, Unreal Uzi, Unreal Mega Shark. Holy crap, that is doing amazing, isn't it? <laughs> Alright, well, I've Hurtful on that. That's kind of nice. Uh, what else have we got? True Excalibur. I don't think I'm going to really be using that, to be honest. I think the uh, Death Sickle will take its place. Uh, so, yeah, everything's looking good. We could put the optic staff on there, and that should just about do it, I I hope, anyway. Let's go and put that right there, and uh, the yo-yo bag will be replaced with the star veil. Maybe we can get something cool on this. Intrepid. Warding? That's kind of nice. I'll take warding any day. Okay, so what else have we got? Spiked. Guarding, guarding. Arcane. Uh, maybe something else on this. Jagged. Warning again. Wow! 63 defense is now the amount we have. That is kind of awesome. <laughs> Sweet. Alrighty, guys, and here we are with Plantera attempt number two. This is going to be with the Death Sickle and my melee loadout. Let's see just how we do. Hopefully, we'll be able to do this with ease. Well, to be honest, it's not been at all ease. So, uh, yeah, this should be pretty interesting. But as you can see, already doing a little bit of damage, though, which is kind of nice to see. Alright, up you come. Up you come, buddy. Come on. Up you come, into the arena. Don't you dare despawn on me, otherwise I'm going to be really freaking mad. Oh, God, she just got a sudden speed boost. Holy crap. All right, here we go. Let's see how we do. Where is she? I need to kick her. What? Whoa! Dude, the speed boost is real. Holy crap. All right, come on, dude. Let's see how we do. Alrighty, and there she goes, second stage. This is where things actually become difficult. Whether we're going to do this or not is going to be another matter. I have no idea. I hopefully see hope that we can. She's still moving very, very quickly. I don't like it at all, and I think I'm going to die again. Although, I don't know, if we could survive like 15 seconds, we can maybe get our health back. That would be awesome. And what she's moving so weirdly. She's moving so... I can't predict how she's moving. 
It's so weird. The, may, the way she moves. I like the way you move. Actually, no. To be honest, I don't like the way you move, Plantera. Why don't you go ahead and move in such a way ah, that I can actually predict where you're going to go, okay? I actually managed to get my health back right there. Holy crap. Ah, oh, this... i tell you something. This has definitely been my best one of Plantera so far. This might be the one that we managed to do it. That would be amazing. If I could just keep her somehow moving in a circular way, then I could potentially do this. She's got such low health right now. 5,000 health. Oh, mate. Of all the ways to take down Plantera, I've got to be honest with you guys. I did not think that melee would be the way to do it. I, I honestly thought that being a ranger would benefit us the most in terms of this fight. But as you can see, the death sickle on my melee loadout has taken it down. <laughs> oh, baby. Oh, yes. Oh, now that's a way to start out a new year, my friends. I don't even use my buff potions. I am such an idiot. I could have made that... Oh, mate. I could have made that fight so much easier for myself, but I just didn't need to. I genuinely forgot to use my buff potions, but I still managed to do it. That's incredible. I wonder if this thing right here, which I managed to place down during the fight, I wonder if that had any kind of, like, like severely positive effect. Because as you can see, melee weapons have armor penetration, which is awesome. So, I don't know, maybe that's a bit of a top tip for you guys. If you find yourself wanting to have slightly better melee weapons, the sharpening station is going to be your best friend there, my friend. And uh, combine that with the fact that I had a bewitching table along with two pairs of of optic dudes that is amazing oh my god oh, guys you have no idea how happy i am with the fact that we finally managed to take down plantera it is truly amazing i'm really freaking happy like I, i'm really happy with that my friends i never ever want to see plantera again unless i know i can absolutely destroy it in a matter of seconds you know what i'm saying jeez okay right well yeah, that's, that's that done, which means we can now start trying to get ourselves the Spectre armor, maybe? That'd be a cool idea. Oh, we've got to dive at. Awesome. Anyways, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, let's open up these five treasure bags that we have here. Who knows, we may get another developer set of armor slash whatever it may be. Uh, I have no idea. Let's go ahead and uh, do this and boom, boom, boom. Ooh, lots of stuff. We've got Hive Pack. We've got ourselves the Hive Wand. Uh, Murderous Bee Gun. Ooh. Uh, Hive Wand, do I not already have that? I'm pretty sure we do, right? Oh, we don't. Huh, okay. Well, pretty much the rest of it, like the entire rest of it, I can pretty much go and sell, which is best out of this. Uh, armored. I'll save the armored one, and I'm literally going to sell every single other item that we managed to get, because we just don't need it. Three gold. Uh, not much, not much. 78. Uh, two gold. Uh, four gold, that's not bad, that's not bad. Uh, another two gold, and another little bit of that. And we've got the yellets. Oh, we've got another yellets! We've got two two loads of yellets now. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, moving on. Uh, what is this one? The Eye of Cthulhu, right? Uh, Warding Shield of Cthulhu? Uh, what's the one we already have? Menacing? Huh, I might keep both of them, because both of the prefixes are pretty damn good. Alright, and I'm going to sell the rest of it, because we just don't need it. There we go, and finally, of course, we have ourselves this thing. Oh, we got the Seedler! Oh, that's amazing, dudes. We got a spore sack. We got a pygmy staff as well. Holy crap. We could go full on summoner with uh, with a witch doctor if we get him inside the uh, inside the jungle biome along with a pygmy staff. We can get some pretty cool stuff from him. But check this out. We got a seedler. That's incredible. I'm really, really happy with that, my friends. Like, really happy indeed, in fact. <laughs> uh, it's a savage one as well. I imagine we can get something better, though. So I am going to put this thing in this slot. I'm not even sure why that's even there. What's this? GPS? Huh. Metal detector. Why was that in my accessory slot? That is a mystery to me. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go and reforge this to end off this episode. Let's get it done. Alright, geared or geared or geared. I don't even know how to pronounce it. Let's get ourselves something. Oh my god, that was 29 gold to reforge. That's a lot. Deadly. Ooh, that's got more speed on it. That's kind of nice. I'll take it. Um, we'll reforge this just because why not? Broken. Mythical's kind of nice. I'll take that. And uh, yeah, this is looking awesome. Oh, yeah, the explosive damage is going to be real. Heck yeah, my friends. But anyways, it is time to end this episode. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy this episode and you are excited to see more, do be sure to drop a like rating. And of course, you can subscribe if you want to know when the future videos are out. But as I was mentioning before about the whole regretting expert mode thing, yes, expert mode is incredibly difficult and very, very frustrating at times. But... 
In my opinion, it's worth it. It is worth it. It is worth it to keep going. See if you can't defeat the peeps. Get yourself some epic rewards and increased drop rates for epic stuff. And uh, yeah, just just keep at it. Just keep at it. If you're on an expert mode, just keep at it. I'm, I'm saying that more to myself than you guys. <laughs> oh, mate. Because, yeah, I was really starting to get a little bit frustrated to the point where I didn't want to do this series anymore. So... Yeah, but I'm glad that I've kept at it. I'm glad that I've kept at it, and I'm very, very glad that you guys are still enjoying the series as well. So once again, thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed your New Year's, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode.